get on the road. <laughs> Coach, can we talk, reflect a little bit about this season and uh, kind of how it's progressed? Wow. Well, you know, other than my guys, you know, who I really appreciate, but I mean, it's been a terrible year. You know, it's been a terrible year. I mean, we, we, uh, you know, I, I'm a big believer that you can develop and win. You know, and last year we proved it, and and this year we didn't. And so I just find it hard on everybody. And um, I'm disappointed. I'm frustrated. I'm a lot of things. Um, but then, if you want to talk about the positives, um, to see how far we came as a team again now it was almost like going through March all over again last year, where we had call-ups and injuries, and it didn't matter. We just kept finding ways to win hockey. Well, the only difference was this year we struggled a little bit more to win games, but man, were we in them, you know. And uh, you know, we played these guys right to the very end three times in, in about a week. Um, individually, the development of the young kids, wow, we had some guys come far, you know. We had some guys come far, and at the end of the day, that's the silver lining in all of this because, you know, I'll tell you, that's what this is really all about is the development. For a team that's been out of the playoffs for a number of weeks now, to see their fight out there, you know, trying to break that streak, or maybe they weren't even paying attention to that, but just the fight that they had in them down to the very last second, I, well, what can I you say know, about that? I, I agree. I mean, that's the one thing that I've talked about for months now. You know, nobody's been able to break our spirit, and it's been tough, I'll tell you. I mean, to come to the rink every day and to try to keep a positive attitude every day and to keep working hard every day. and. You know, the one thing I talk about from day one is I challenge my guys, I want you to get better somehow, some way, every day. And that's a little easier said than done when things aren't going your way, you know. But again, I think they've done a great job. I have no issues with, with my team. Do you think their fighting spirit is a reflection of you and Sterles? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I can't answer that. I mean, but, you know, I do know that we've done, we've spent a lot of time trying to keep our spirits up. You know, we have, and uh, and I think we have done that. But at the end of the day, we're not playing the game. It's the guys that got to go out like tonight and play the game, and uh, that's the way we've been playing. You know, I know we've been on the road forever, but that's really the way that we've been playing. We've had a couple stinkers here, or there, but every single team has had a couple stinkers. Here or there, you know? As a coach, how difficult is the final game of the season to go through these interviews and say goodbye to some guys you? Yeah. No, it, it 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 stinks, you know, because um, you really get to grow to appreciate these guys. I mean, they're no different than somebody in my situation, at my age. It's really no different than the way you develop and nurture your kids. You know, I mean, really, uh, they're all great guys, and they all have their um, strengths, and they all have their weaknesses, and they all have their unique personalities, and. Um, you know, you get to know them so well, and you get to be close to them, you get to care about them, and then day like today comes, and it's like you're breaking up with an old girlfriend, you know. I'm going one way, you know, some of them are going another way, and it's just unfortunate, but it is what it is. So I, I got to tell you that it's, um, it's a little bit bittersweet, because I'm very ready to put this season behind me, but at the same time, I'm really disappointed that these guys are, you know, some of them anyway, are going to be going off in a different on a path. Any talk with Ottawa about you maybe staying with the organization? Uh, you know what, we've had those conversations. Um, but right now, you know, I mean, they're locked in the playoffs and, you know, won a big game tonight. And, you know, I honestly, stuff like that, I don't, I don't really focus on stuff like that. I don't worry about stuff like that. Um, if it's meant to be, it'll be. And if it's not meant to be, then it won't be, you know? So, that's that about that. But if you had your way, if it were totally up to you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I really, I've said many, many times, you know, I really appreciate Binghamton. I think this community gets a bad rap, and I'm genuine about what I'm saying, you know. I mean, I, I mean what I say, and I say what I mean. I really think, for whatever reason, you know, um, this little community gets a bad reputation, and, and, and I don't think that's fair because I can tell you that my wife and I enjoy Binghamton, and the people here are the nicest people, honestly. I mean, if I, and again, I understand that maybe it's because 
you know, there's a lot of Senators fans out there, and, you know, maybe they will. But I, that's not the case. I really don't believe that's the case. It's just a great little community. Investor would like a climb indoors probably for yeah. next year still. <laughs> so. you know. as, far, as far as tonight's game goes, um, their last two goals obviously came on the power play. Uh, do you have any opinion on their I'm calls so sick and tired of, you know, the referees not ref in the game. They, 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 don't, they don't ref. They ref to make it a game. You know, they don't ref the game. They ref to make it a game. And, you know, we had some people here from Ottawa, and they're like, you got to I'm so sick and tired of yelling at referees that I'm not going to waste my time going in there. I mean, I just can't get it. It was like the play on Dizzy. Again, I know it sounds like I'm complaining, and, I, and I'm whining a little bit, but... It wasn't even a penalty. That's my point. You know, they don't ref the game. They ref to make it a game. And that's exactly what happened. And, you know, Smitty, he's a two-plus-two guy. We all laugh about it. He calls two penalties on each team every night. So it's like he just has to choose where is he going to make the two calls. And, and, you, don't, and you don't call him in their period. Oh, my like gosh. That. I mean, what a shame. Yeah. Again, yeah. an absolute shame because it just wasn't there. Well, I can tell you there was a five-year-old boy that gave him the business. Yeah, that's good, you know. Just, I'm just, it's really frustrating. It's, I, I, I don't know if it's because of we're moving our guys up to the next level a little sooner than we should be, or I don't know, but it's just like the caliber. Maybe it's just because it's been that kind of year and things just haven't worked in our favor. Good enough? No. Sorry. Yeah. Um, talked all year about how they have uh, been working hard. See them leave it all out there. Was that at least a good thing for you? Going <clears throat> That's away why I'm so disappointed in the way it ended up. You know, like for me, if the refs just get out of the way, I think things would have been probably different. Different. You know, um, I I'm very disappointed. Not not even so much for me. I mean, it would have been nice because somebody was going to go in the record books with them. They're going in already, and whoever knocks them off is going in with them. So that would have been kind of fun, and we could have really, really enjoyed that. And we deserved it. I mean, we really deserved it for everything we've gone through. I'm telling you, this group, everything we've been through, everything they've done, the fact that they've never quit, they keep working hard. I mean, there's not a single team out there that deserved to knock them off more than us. And that's the shame in all of this. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.